morning guys so it is um monday morning 15th of october just got dressed and ready and we're just heading off to asda now and somewhere else i can't remember where we're going <laughs> so i'm going fishing tonight so we need to go and get some food for the rise you know it won't last too long so oh my handbag would help i forgot anything Oh yeah, I forgot. I think that was me. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me a bit nervous. It's very unnatural. You're a nervous Nelly though. I am. So just been out to Asda, where are we going now? To Wayne's Temple. I'm gonna go and get some bits for Thomas to do his fishing with. <laughs> so just at Wayne's now, uh, Thomas just nipped in to get some bits. Um, it's, a, it's a local shop, it's really cute really. It's a local shop called Wayne's Tackle and it literally has anything you could ever think of to do with fishing in it. Uh, personally, I don't really understand fishing, I don't really get it, but it's Tom's hobby so just let him do whatever makes him happy. Um, so he's going fishing today, well tonight, stays over and then he'll come back tomorrow afternoon um, and then I'm not sure what the plan is tomorrow afternoon really. He was going to go last night and stay for a couple of days but um, because the weather's been so bad he didn't risk it really. So yeah, so I'm just waiting for him. <laughs> So Tom's gone fishing now, he left about an hour ago, something like that, so I've had some dinner, just been catching up on a bit of um, TV, I'm just going to whiz, <laughs> I'm just going to whiz, <laughs> just going to tidy up a little bit and then get the dogs out because it's really nice, it's, that, it's sunny but it's cold, it's my favourite kind of weather, but first I need to tidy up.
it was an absolute nightmare. I don't know about you guys, but when I get particularly stressed, the first thing I need to do is just get my hair off my face. That's it. <laughs> I can't stand it. So, <clears throat> don't mind the, um, uh, this, whatever this is. Anyway. So I've just got back and I've got a few bits from town here. Um, and I'm very excited. So this is a very loud package. I'll show it back quickly. From Misguided. What the hell is that? Why are the lips on it? That's ridiculous. Anyway. Um, so it's a package and it's a dress, a potential dress for this wedding I'm going to in November. It's the first ever wedding I've been to ever in my life, as a guest anyway. Um, <clears throat> well, at all. I've not. I've never been a bridesmaid or anything for a while. I've been looking online for ages and ages to find any kind of dress. So I found this one. So let me just put you somewhere, and we'll have a look. I've got to be careful, otherwise I can't send it back. Actually, I'm just so excited. How the hell do you get into this thing? I need some. I think I need some scissors. Hang on. I'm far too excited. Got some nail scissors. Nail to because I am lazy. <laughs> oh. That's exciting. Most loudest packaging ever. Hmm. My first thought, so it's quite right quite rough bloody huge that for 10 so this is the dress it's long sleeved just black with big flowers on and then the front has um, a little bit of lace here and it ties up in the middle you know with that the little gap just there um, in between your boobs and your belly button so, sure, you blokes and stand, and it just ties up. But that, I don't think you can quite appreciate how big it is. Look at that, it's meant to be a 10. Just got to try it on. You're not watching that bit, so give me a second. So, this is the dress. Put it down there. It's a hell of a lot more booby than I anticipated. It's just the boob situation, I'm not too sure about. Let me just show you in the um oh god in the mirror. So this is it in the mirror. And yes, I've just pulled my jeans down <laughs> because I am lazy. Um so this is it in the mirror. I don't know if it does anything for me, really. Look at my jeans. <laughs> I've even got my slippers on still. <laughs> Morning guys, so it's twenty-five past ten. Um, I've been up for a little while now really. Just had a phone call from Thomas and he was packing up all his stuff for f to come home after fishing. And he's lost his keys. He's lost his keys, he's the only one in the fishery, he hasn't got a spare car key so I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen. He's just rung me and he said I don't actually know why I've rung you because there's nothing I can do. The only thing I could do is drive up and go and help him find his keys but it's a long journey for not a lot probably and to be honest before we rung I was sort of falling asleep again <laughs> I don't know why I'm so tired okay so it's a little bit later now and I forgot to update you uh, Tom found his keys <laughs> uh, they were all wrapped up in some of his gear uh, so he's finally home and we're now out with the dogs at Haslam Park